Hello. In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. The real exponential is a strictly increasing function. Now, first, let's remind ourselves what e to the x is. The limit of 1 plus x over n to the power of n is equal to e to the x for all real numbers x. And in proving this theorem, we are going to use three preliminary results about the exponential function. So here's the first one. e to the x times e to the y is equal to e to the x plus y for all real numbers x and y. Second, e to the x is greater than or equal to 1 plus x for all real numbers x. And third, e to the x is greater than 0 for all real numbers x. Now, this result tells us that the real exponential maps into the positive real numbers, right? For every real number x, e to the x is greater than 0. So, yeah. And now let's get into proving this theorem. Now, we're trying to prove that this function is a strictly increasing function. And what that means is we want to prove for every two real numbers, x and y, if x is greater than y, then e to the x is greater than e to the y. And so to start with the proof, let's give ourselves two arbitrary real numbers, x and y, such that x is greater than y. From here, we want to show that e to the x is greater than e to the y. Well, notice, we can rewrite e to the x as e to the x minus y plus y. And by our first preliminary result, this is just e to the x minus y times e to the y. But then, if we apply our second preliminary result to x minus y, we have that e to the x minus y is greater than or equal to 1 plus x minus y. And then, since e to the y is positive, if we multiply e to the y on both sides of this inequality, the sign of the inequality will remain the same. So that's what we get. And so we see that this guy is greater than or equal to this guy. But then, since x is greater than y, we have that x minus y is greater than 0. And then if we add 1 on both sides of the inequality, we get this. But then again, since e to the y is positive, if we multiply it on both sides of this inequality, the sign of the inequality will remain the same. So we get this. And therefore, this guy is greater than e to the y. And so we see that e to the x is greater than e to the y. And so what we've shown here is, given any two real numbers, x and y, such that x is greater than y, it follows that e to the x is greater than e to the y. And that's what it means for this function to be a strictly increasing function. And so this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.